Wolverine. Hmm. I'm curious about this one. This one had uh, we've been hearing about this one for a while. Hated the first Wolverine film. Thought it was terrible. One of the worst films I've seen probably in ten years, uh, other than Dark Shadows. <laughs> um, this one was supposed to have Darren Aronofsky as the director, which mm-hmm. everyone thought, oh my god, that blew everyone's mind. Right. He pulled out, and then they got a guy named James Mangold, mm-hmm. who I wasn't really aware, but then I'm looking at his his resume here. He did Night and Day, which yeah. mm, he did 310 to Yuma. Yeah. Yeah, he really did Walk movie. the Line. Right. He did Identity, which is one of my yep. favorite movies from the past 10 years. He did Kate and Leopold, which I didn't see, but I heard people liked so it. So he's worked and with Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. He did Girl Interrupted. Yeah. He did Copland, which kind of toes the line between, yeah. was it good or was it bad? I don't really, I can't tell. For I Stallone, watched. it was great. Yeah. But this is a guy who's done a lot of really a good variety, movies. Yeah. Like his, 310 to Yuma, Walk the Line, Identity, those are all like good to great films. Sure. So I, uh, I'm i kind of on board. I, I'm cautiously optimistic about this movie. I say cautiously just because, um, you know, I, I, I would hate to see them drag that character into the ground, yeah. um, especially, you know, X-Men 3 was really bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't I, know. I thought it was pretty decent. Oh, did you? Okay. I thought it threw back to their the comic way better than the other two first two movies. Oh, wow. Okay. So I, I, I like the first two. Well, wasn't crazy about the third one. You know, I'm not saying the third one was was a great movie, but right. it certainly, I don't know, but, you Ratner know, was w- trying to do w- something there. Wolverine, the, the, the standalone movie, not great. I actually didn't think it was as bad as everyone else seemed to think. I, I actually s- found it to be kind of passably entertaining. I will, I will go ahead and say the way I saw it was with the leaked cut, the pre-cut, like whatever that version of the movie was, that like that big controversy with that, like, you know, not finished special effects and like everything was, you know, uh, undone and there's like paper airplanes flying where there should have been real airplanes in the CGI hmm. and I don't want to ever not have that experience so <laughs> I, I have a good imagination I don't think I would have enjoyed the movie but I didn't see the actual the movie actual I, Wolverine. I, I, I saw I didn't whatever think it was they as were bad as, as, its, as its reputation proceeds but it's not it's certainly not Anything that I think Hugh Jackman wants to put at the top of his resume. Sure. So, yeah. Uh, but this one, you know, I, I, it's it's based on Frank Miller's version of Wolverine, which is kind of interesting. Um, uh, the Hong Kong, I, I believe it's it's like sort of Hong Kong setting. Um, yeah. And uh, that, from from what I can tell from the trailer, it, it looks like kind of a, an Asian crime film, mm-hmm. which intrigues me. And you know, Hugh Jackman, I think, is is a really cool star. So yeah. I think it has a lot of the right ingredients. And James Mangold seems like he can direct action based on 310 to Yuma. So, um, so yeah, I, I'll definitely be there. Yeah. A Place for Film is recorded at WFIU Studios in Bloomington, Indiana.